another League of Legends champion, another another pointless map control minigame. Oh joy. Hey, what's up, Sog Drawer? It's your overly enthusiastic internet anti here. And boy, do we have something you probably didn't expect, and that's that we are going to have a go at some support mains today. I know you're probably thinking, Ross, you're an old support main, and you spend most of your time in videos completely dick writing supports, talking about how they're the unsung heroes of every game of League of Legends that they actually play, and that they never get the credit they deserve for all the, the hard work they put in. Yeah, well, I guess I, I somehow, I somewhat feel that way still, every so often, mostly because I know how it felt to be in that position, playing that godforsaken role. Oh, shit. Oh, you fucked up, kid. Oh, you fucked up. Oh, now it's time for Bar to lay some fucking pain. Lay some pain down. Or just, or just go back. Oh, fuck me. I, I know how it felt to be in that position, all right? Playing that godforsaken role where everybody is an asshole 200% of the time for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Is she exhausted for a double? The only other role that gets almost as much shit as you do is the jungler. And that's only because the support also tends to blame the jungler quite a lot for if bot lane ever loses. In fact, you know, fuck it, I mean, the support tends to have a lot more downtime than the jungler ever has. If anything, that gives them far more time to play and be toxic players than really any other role. And plus, they always feel like they're in some kind of superior position to do so because not a lot of the game, they feel like the game doesn't rely on them as much, so they're in far more of a, I can't believe my team are this bad position. They always play the victim card, it feels like. Even though they have probably just as much influence, if not more, than anyone else in the game. I mean, I feel like supports definitely have more influence over a game than AD carries do because they basically ha have to rely on getting fucking spoon-fed killed for the first 15 minutes. Otherwise, their AD carry is just like throwing rocks at a fucking Malphite. How many fucking times have you been playing AD carry and your support is literally just sitting in a bush like me? And he, but he's standing completely still just talking to the jungler like, Jungler, you're fucking garbage. Jax, you're just the worst fucking jungler I've ever seen in my life. Flaming you or someone else in your team for missing CS or something. And suddenly, you're, me you're, you're playing AD carry. Your support is flaming you for missing a cannon minion. And then all of a sudden, Leona's fucking sword penetrates your asshole with her stuns. And you're just sitting there like, uh, hello, sir. Uh, uh, hello? Your average support is either your typical mode-breaking girl gamer who plays support or your fantastic white knight fedora tipper. Not too much else is really new in that department. But there's a new type of support that is that is so unlike anything we've ever experienced. A support that not only willingly ditches his AD carry like I'm doing right now, he not only willingly ditches his AD carry bot lane to go across the map and just pull off some shenanigans, he not only has a kit that allows him to do this, but his entire kit and his mechanics encourage doing so. That's right, if you're not completely illiterate and you haven't been watching this game, you probably noticed that we're doing a video on Bard today and Bard mains. Bard is a really fucking weird character. I left you for fucking three seconds, man. If you have a Bard support, Every so often he'll just piece the fuck out of lane and leave you 2v1 against like a 7-1 Draven and a Leona support that you're terrified. Whew. That was kind of close. This is kind of fucked up. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What's Jen doing? <laughs> Why is he doing those things? I don't really know. The only justification for leaving your support in lane is just, it's just lol charms, basically. This guy does actually really fucking deceptive levels of damage too. I mean, you could go to attack a bard that's running away. Suddenly, it hits the bard player. He's bard. And he just turns around to stun you for a billion damage. Smash your face in with meeps and then smack you with the ignite that he is definitely, almost definitely carrying. Man, that guy's going pretty fast, the League of Legends. Oh, missed. Oh my god! I accidentally got a kill. Bard players are assholes, let's face it, because they know exactly, they know exactly how annoying Bard is to not only his enemies, but to his team as well. You piss a Bard off and you can expect that a tempered fate is going to hit you just as you're about to secure a kill so someone else can get it or he can take it himself. The most annoying thing about the prick is that he isn't just contained to bot lane. All right. There are arguably far more annoying supports in League of Legends. Like, for instance, 
Leona. She, with all of her stuns, she's pretty goddamn annoying. But the thing that's great about Leona is that she's pretty much mostly just contained to the bot lane and only the bot lane. Oh my fucking god. The great thing about being mid though is that you don't have to deal with the Leona on the enemy team. You don't have to deal with that shit for the majority of the first 20 minutes of the game. You, but you could be level 3 in mid, minding your own business, and the next thing you know, a bard portal just appears on your ass. And bard literally crawls out of your anus to pin you to a fucking wall and deep throat you with meatcock. That was... That was a little bit graphic. Tower diving a bard is a bitch. Engaging on a bard is a bitch. Running away from a bard is a bitch. Being on the same team as a, of a, as a bard is a bitch. Bard is basically just a bitch. How many times have you had a bard on your team? You're maybe top lane or something. You're chasing down the enemy. You're literally one hit away from killing them. Suddenly from mid lane, you just hear the fucking screams of justice from your bard as he wails a fucking ultimate across the map. Entirely not accounting for the fact that by the time it reaches the spot that your enemy is in, you have now switched places and you are in that spot and it hits you and completely, completely saves your enemy from being killed and you get the satisfaction of sitting there like a 24 carat fucking asshole. Oh my god, I did damage, man. I did some fucking damage. Whoo! Keep going, Zen. Bada boom! Don't even care. Don't even care. I mean, she's going for me, for some reason. She's going for the bard. This is positive. No, it's not. She's still alive! No! 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 That was, that hard to watch, man. So you get turned to gold while your enemy flashes their mastery emote and just runs off into the sunset while Bard just types wall into the chat. It's an ulti that's similar to Kindred's and that can just as easily fuck with your team as it can help them. That's why if you're not a Bard main, if you're new to Bard and don't quite understand it, just don't fucking use it. Just, just don't put a point into that spell. And I really shouldn't have put a point into that spell. Cause, because I know, as well as you do, that if you aren't a fucking bard pro, you're gonna make a major asshole of yourself by completely fucking whiffing it onto the wrong thing. Oh, look at that sick Z damage, dude. That's fucking lit, my dog. Or you just get that really awkward moment where you're trying to save a teammate, and all you kinda really do is delay the inevitable. Let's say your teammate is about to die, you drop the ulti, and it ends up catching both of them instead of only one of them. So you're now in this kind of really awkward position where your teammate is face to face with the person that's really desperately trying to murder their fucking face. But we all know that they're not actually going to get away. So we're just sitting there for maybe two seconds just waiting for the cool rounds to come off and they're both just smashing their Q button as hard as possible to see who can hit it fast enough and maybe survive. All you kind of really do is delay what we all know is about to happen. Chasing a bard is honestly also one of the worst experiences I think I've ever had playing League of Legends. It's to the point where even if I manage to score a bunch of kills, even if I am like super duper fed, I'm playing like a really fed character, and it's just bard left and I'm still able to chase, I will just not even bother because I cannot be fucking ass with the emotional roller coaster that is involved with actually trying to catch, walk down, and kill a bard. I chase him down, he stuns me against the wall, forcing me to try and gap close towards him. He uses his heal to get a little bit of a movement speed boost. Now he's approaching a wall, he uses his magical journey to go through the wall, at, at which point he, I fly through the portal thinking that I'm going to be able to do something. He smashes yet another fucking Q in my face and then does, deals a billion damage, slaps the Q, and then he just finishes it off with a, a nice little ignite. And I'm just sitting there like, you're a support. Why are you doing this much damage? I just saved the ass right motherfucking there. That's the bard ulti you after. We're still losing, but that's what you want. Bar Jax, that was a confusing, that was a confusing counter strike right there. If you're good at bard, unlike me, there's like, oh shit, I should do some, I, whoa, we're just doing, whoa, we're doing, whoa, I turned into fucking Scooby-Doo there, dude. Okay, this Zed is just fucking beyond, like, beyond that, the threshold of, like, doing badly. Yeah, he's, oh, I got the kill, though, there we go. It's a good thing I got the kill. I'm the fed one here. So if you're good at Bard, there's also a good chance you're a diamond player. And if you're not, that I'm surprised that you're still playing this game because I would expect everyone that you play with reporting you nine times for being bad at the game uh, and you two have been banned at this point. Similar to how 
I'm doing pretty horribly at this point as well. Because if you're bad at Bard, you make everyone in the fucking game's life a living hell, let's be honest. And you know what? If you're the right kind of person, you probably take pleasure in doing that as well. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little roast of Bard mains. No seriousness, Bard's a really strange character that I, I don't quite get. Uh, am, I not, am I supposed to be like tanky? Am I supposed to be doing damage? Am I just... What? Do I just exist? I don't understand it. There's so many chimes. How do I keep up? How do... What the fuck? There's so many. I... We're... Uh, regardless, thank you very much for watching this. If you want me to roast your main, feel free to uh, drop a suggestion in the comments section down below. And uh, I'll get right round to trying to do that for you. Um, thank you so much for watching this. If you did get to this point in the video, be sure to drop it a like. And if you're new to the channel as well and you want to join the sock drawer, I would really appreciate if you smashed that subscribe button as well. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you tomorrow.